Hello and welcome to today's topic, hyoid bone. Hyoid bone is a horseshoe shaped bone. It is not a part of the skull but considered for the sake of convenience. The hyoid bone is present in front of the upper part of the neck. It is not directly attached to any bone. Instead, it is held by the muscles and the ligament. The most important one being the style of hyoid ligaments forming the base of the skull. Here you can see the style of hyoid ligament forming the base of the skull. What is the purpose of the hyoid bone? Hyoid bone serves as an attachment for the tongue and the muscles in the floor of the oral cavity. Parts of the hyoid. The bone consists of the central part called the body and the two cornua, the lesser and the greater cornua on the either sides. Describing about the body, it is roughly quadrilateral. Anterior surface is directed forwards and upwards. The posterior surface directed backwards and downwards. The anterior surface. Upper and lower parts are divided by the transverse ridge while it is divided into right and left halves by the median vertical ridge. Next, the posterior surface is smooth. The greater cornua is flattened, attached to the lateral part of the body from which they project backwards and laterally. They have upper and lower surfaces and medial and lateral borders. Posterior end of each cornua is enlarged to form a tubercle. The lesser cornua is small and conical. They project upwards and laterally from the junction of the body and the greater cornua. The union between the body and the greater cornua is cartilaginous in young but they fuse in later life. The lesser cornua are attached by fibrous tissue. Muscles attached to the hyoid bone. There are around 9 muscles attached to the hyoid. Lowest fibers of the genioglossus are inserted into the upper border of the body. Geniohyoid muscle is inserted on the anterior surface of the body. Mylohyoid is also inserted on the anterior surface of the body below the insertion of the geniohyoid. Sternohyoid is inserted into the medial part of the inferior border of the body. Superior belly of the omohyoid is attached to the lateral part of the inferior border of the body. The middle constrictor of the pharynx arises from the upper surface of the greater cornua and from the postrolateral aspect of the lesser cornua. Hyoglossus arises from the upper surface of the greater cornua lateral to the origin of the middle constrictor. The stylohyoid muscle is inserted into the upper surface of the greater cornua near its junction with the body. The thyrohyoid muscle is inserted into the anterior part of the lateral border of the greater cornua. Let's see the other structures attached to the hyoid bone. Stylohyoid ligament attached to the apex of the lesser cornua forming the base of the skull. The thyrohyoid membrane attached to the medial border of the greater cornua and the upper border of the body. Fibrous loop for the tendon of the digastric is attached to the lateral part of the upper surface of the greater cornua behind the insertion of the stylohyoid muscle. Development of the hyoid bone. Upper half of the body and the lesser cornua is derived from the cartilages of the second pharyngeal arches. Lower half of the body and the greater cornua is derived from the cartilages of the third pharyngeal arches. Here we can clearly see the development of the hyoid bone. The upper half of the body and the 
lesser cornua forming from the second arch the greater cornua as well as the lower part of the body is formed by the third arch ossification of the hyoid bone hyoid bone ossifies from six centers one center each greater cornua develops at the end of the fetal life two centers the body develops at the time of birth and other two centers the lesser cornua develops at the age of puberty hyoid abuse due to its position hyoid bone is not easily susceptible to fracture in a suspected case of murder or physical abuse like in case of a suicide a fractured hyoid strongly indicates throttling or strangulation in adults but it is not in case of children and adolescents where the bone is still flexible as ossification is not yet complete to conclude there is nothing in life that is impossible the word impossible itself tells i am possible thank you